Ross. I'm 25 years old. Thank you. I live with my mother also, and my little brother, so I consider myself a bit of a glorified teenager, if you will. But recently, I did buy myself a place to have sex. <laughs> also known as a 2008 white Chevy Impala. <laughs> happened and leave the application on the windshield. <laughs> so, um, as you can tell, I'm black, I identify as black, and so, <laughs> so um, I didn't know I was black until I came to Arizona. <laughs> I, I was born in New Jersey, and I kept <laughs> Living, I'm born Livingston, New York, New, anyway. <laughs> so uh, I was in a predominantly black area, and so growing up, I was there until I was eight years old, and I kept hearing people call black people minorities. And I was like, why are they calling us minorities? We're everywhere. And then I moved to Arizona. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is what they mean by that. <laughs> All right. So. I learned a lot about myself and uh, the black experience in Arizona is definitely unique because um, Arizona is so white that um, when you are in the same space as another black person, they think you're related. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Uh, one day I was at Subway with my dad and my family and there's this random black woman getting her own sub and then the cashier rings up our stuff together. <laughs> My dad was like, what are you doing? And then the cashier was like, oh, you guys are together? And I'm like, no. Like, like, that never happens to white people. Like, are you guys related? <laughs> you share the same complexion. <laughs> like, that's, that's how weird it is being black in Arizona. Like, oh my God. like, I made one black friend in third grade when I came here, and everyone thought we were related. I'm like, you've known this girl since second grade. I just got here. <laughs> I, can't, I can't be friends with black people now. That's what I come to living in Arizona. I had no black friends. All the black people I know are my mom and my little brother. Anyway, next part. Arizona's so white. <laughs> black people say hi to each other. We say we greet each other. Like we're in a, like on the grocery store parking lot. Like, hey, how's it going? We're not trying to start a conversation. We're just acknowledging that we see each other. We recognize the shared experience, the struggle. Like, I see you guys. <laughs> beautiful. That's what we do. We just we gas each other up. It's like we don't know each other. Um, like I'm sure you, sir, you identify as white. I'm assuming. <laughs> you say like, hi to other white people. I try not to. Try not to. Try not to. <laughs> and there's a number of white people in the room. Like, oh shit, it's about to get crazy in here. <laughs> like I feel very terrified right now. There's a lot of white people. <laughs> Also, I'm Arizona so white that uh, I'm terrified of black people too. Um, <laughs> I found that about myself when I went back home to New Jersey slash New York a few weeks ago. Um, so I we landed in Newark and I had to take the bus to Newark Penn Station and there's black people all over this bus. And I was like, oh my god, I just felt the need to clutch my purse closer to <laughs> hair without their permission. <laughs> I, I signed up for a goat yoga class. <laughs> Hell, I, I bought some tiki torches. I was, I, yeah, we're watching the news, we're watching the news. Okay, okay, okay. We're current event, we're current event people. Okay. Um, there was actually one time I was in New York trying to take a picture and my phone was in selfie mode. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Identify as fat. Um, yes, I know some people are like, oh, no, 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 you're not fat. You're beautiful. I'm like, ooh, I didn't say that. I didn't say I was ugly. These are the good white people. 
Well, we saved in the revolution. <laughs> I'm not, like, fat. Like, oh, wow, Precious is doing stand-up comedy? Like, oh. I, guess, I have a lot of, like, I know I'm, like, my fat's in acceptable areas. Like, I could be a plus-size model. I could be, like, Lane Bryant, Fashion Over Curve, Goodwill. Um, <laughs> looking for. And I know when it comes to, like, being fat, um, I know men in particular, they, they're, we're, fat men are invisible. So I thought of committing more crimes. Um, <laughs> you can't see me. Like, whoa, Waymo has like driverless Maseratis. I didn't even know that. But it's me. Or like, wow, oh, that money's floating. What's going on? It's a fat woman. And uh, or like, uh, you know, Banksy's that anonymous artist, street artist. Yep. It's, it's a fat woman. She. <laughs> she it's like. It's like Spray painting like, wow, this baby hanging from a noose is just coming out of nowhere. What is this thing? I'm like, that's a fat woman doing it. <laughs> She's like, all right, I'm done. Just gonna go to my go yoga class. <laughs> so my name is Indigo. Thank you so much. <laughs>